21 total. McBride's 25, had no chance. Took the finish line by 10th out. Had a breakout to do it. He couldn't win. Nice showing today by little McBride. Great driver. The most powerful tool in your toolbox is the Summit Racing app. Get quick, easy access to Summit Racing 24-7. The Summit Racing mobile app offers one-touch shopping, so you get the parts you need fast. Build your shopping list, research parts, check your order status, and connect with us on social media, on your couch, in your garage, or at the track. Summit Racing's mobile app, available now for your Android or Apple device. The most powerful tool in your toolbox. Ten cars this round, and Rich Corey was in it twice, so we were waiting for him. He, he went down. He's already won once, so Rich Corey's going to have to come back and pair up with David Gunn, right? That's right. Rich Corey and Gunn. And that will conclude round number seven, brought to you by none other than Penske Shocks of the Midwest. Take a photo. Take a time to 
head north to the border. Stay filling up, I'm my favorite type of harder. I got kids to feed, I got enemies, I got God's gift, so they envy me. Got some friends I Memphis like I'm Aubrey. Got some friends fuck for orange like some autumn leaves. All right, we need round number three of the shootout. Round three of the shootout. We need dragsters for round three of the shootout. Dragsters, round three of the shootout to the lanes, please. Final pair of round seven, David Gunn, 595 in the left. Rich Corey with his second entry. He won with his other entry, so he's already got one down to five. Rich Corey dialed 481 in the right. Okay, we're pre-staged. David Gunn, he won a 10 grander or a 20 grander over at Keystone earlier this year, one of the Michael Beard races. <laughs> 19 to a 31, Rich Corey's in full control. Rich Corey gets the electricity. Rich Corey puts two cars down to five. 19 on the tree, 10 thou above, taking 5 thou, doing Rich Corey kind of things.
Keystone Raceway repping real well tonight as uh, Rich Corey will race Kevin Boring in one matchup and Rich Corey will race Mia Tedesco in the other. And Josh Kessler, you're sitting on the bye. You are on the bye at five, you'll be down to three. So it'll be Rich Corey and Mia Tedesco, Rich Corey and Kevin Boring. Hey, Sam, if you can hear me, round number eight coming to us, House of Pain, House of Pain. Sunday morning, 8 o'clock a.m. here in the Tower, second floor RFC, non-denominational chapel service, 8 o'clock on Sunday. Excuse me, excuse me. 
All right, we had to kick Marco out of here because we wanted a little bit of entertainment. We brought Lou up. Hey, man, your boy Mancini was sending pictures of the Muppet guys from the balcony, the old dudes. So really? that was me and Marco. Da, 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 yeah, those guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mancini can keep himself in Pittsburgh. Jerry Hollingsworth, <laughs> 490. Ryan Duffenberger? Let's go with that. Cool. Duffenberger. Barger. Just, just, Barger. Just say it fast. Okay. Faster is better. That way you can get it out of the way. That's it. 471, the faster of the parent in the right. 490 in the left. I'm confident of one thing. We're probably not going to run out of those Mentos candies. 18 to 26. Bringing it up right now. It's going to be Jerry Hollingsworth. Hollingsworth, one above one. Take a nine thou. What's nine thou at a buck forty? That's like sixteen inches or something. It's less than eighteen because it's like one point eight inches per thou. You know who was really good at that? Michael Beard. Absolutely. I knew it. Really, yeah. really, really good at that. I would quote it in an article, then he would correct me for drag. Is that right? Oh yeah. Actually, it was this. No, oh, I don't think you were accurate there. There right. was a differential. Skeet Pico was really good at that too. He knew. Oh, close of it. Skeet was great. Oh yeah. Yep, he was Absolutely. good at it. Entertainer, first person that I uh, I remember at the Norwalk Halloween Classic back even from the 90s. Oh, man. And uh, he was a staple there. King of the polka. Good time. Anything at the Halloween Classic, uh, the Baiters, that was a diamond in the rough. Right now we have Devin Payton up in the right-hand lane. Who you got over there? Hunter Gillum. Mine's 13, dialed 475, looking for the W. Can't pull it off. Oh, Devin Payton's going to be dead. 527, taking three. Foul. You know nice what makes me lap. important? I'm the guy closest to the button that sets the screen next. That's great. Yep. You might be better at announcing, but I, c I can change our cue. I wouldn't say that. I you would. You got the voice of an angel. No. That you have the so official sweet. voice. Matt. Zup. I got it right this time. Hey, man, I'd rather be Matt Daddis. Hey, I couldn't help it. Oh. I was reading and texting. It was like walking into a This is gun. how Mancini called Marco and I old. So I said, you know, I'm like 20 years older than Matt Daddis. Marco That's looks at me and goes, how old are you? And I said, well, I'm 48. He goes, oh, yeah, Jesus, you are old. <laughs> and then he says, you might be 20 years. And then, then the next thing I know, Mancini's sending GIF images of the Muppet dudes. Well, that's okay. No. We got Dennis Rock, who's the sponsor of round one of the event this weekend. Rock a machine in the right-hand lane dialed in at 464. Left side, John Cook is going to be your winner on a 14th foul red light advantage as Rock goes red. 15 green in the left, runs it down to be dead nine. Hey, Dennis Rock jumped right into Maria's car. Did you see that? And he was like 12, and he did great. I, I told him earlier today, he was really, this year, uh, he's always competitive. This year, he's been laying down some really solid laps. He could have won on a tricycle today. Yeah. Lester Atkins now down 439. Tough pull right here. Oh, in the right-hand lane, the Jigs. Dragster of TJ... Coughlin, pro stock extraordinaire. I went up and I said, what are you doing? You're slumming again. It's like old times. TJ back in a shark tank. We were talking about the shark tank at the NHRA event of these uh, high dollar bracket races. And uh, geez, TJ's like, there's nothing better than grounding yourself and uh, getting back in a bracket car and getting out here and, and putting yourself in this situation. Because it's tough out there. Ooh, TJ's going to knock it seven red. 14 green for the W. Lester Atkins runs down to be under 437 with an eight on that 439, but it does not matter. And, of course, TJ's dead on. It doesn't matter. You kick it red, you're going to put it dead on, just the way it is. You could be holding three, and you kick it red, and you're going to get it dead on. It just doesn't matter. That's right now, can. in the right-hand lane, you have da -da 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 Chris Wall and Nacho dialed in 4-5-2. Four, 443 left side, Ryan Sparks. Nacho what? That's Libre? his nickname, Nacho. Nacho Libre? Yeah. Now, there's a sign war going on around my house between the taco place and the panini place. And they, they were putting up fun. I'm waiting I mean, for the punchline. Is this a joke? No, no. This is, oh, okay. this is serious. All last week, man. It blew it blew up. And that they said, nacho beef, stay out of our fight. <laughs> um, if you use guac in a set. Oh, look at this. Three thousand separate them. 
Sparks, you get it. Uh, Ryan is 005, dead two, seven total to take four. <laughs> Chris Wallen, 008, dead three. Uh, the only thing he did wrong was drive up into the lane. By I'm Sparks, telling you. Yep, that's it. Good Lord. So anyways, I guess the point to the story is there's Not all these business. signs. There's ten it. different signs, right? And they mm -hmm. talked about, you know, change your sign because the one, one company wouldn't change their sign for four weeks, which started this whole sign war. And they said, well, we're too busy to change our signs. Can we use your parking lot because you're not? So then the milkshake, the ice cream lady gets in it. She puts up there, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> and it just keeps going and going and going. It was hilarious. It generated all this buzz. Speaking of buzz. Right hand lane, Sarah Basil dialed in 460. Can she get it done? Yes, Sarah Basil gonna take over. She's dead 225 on the tree. Chase McKay was 19 and drops her off for the L. Taking Ooh, five. Yeah. Yes. We should have our five returning drivers for round number eight. As soon as you can make your way to the lanes, they'll pair you up. Take the left, I'll take the right. Is that right? Justin Daniels, left hand lane, dialed in five two five. Nathan Altenbach in the right dialed six twenty nine. Did you see how we had to change that up? It's okay. Bach not to be confused with Mozart. That is correct. Mm mm mm. Door car versus dragster getting down and dirty. Ooh, 14 in the right, in control. Let's just say Daniels missed it a little bit. Nathan going to be 104, taking sixth out, 14 up front. Moving on to the next round. What round are we in here? This is the shootout, I would take it correctly. Yes. Mayor of North Carolina is yes. ignoring me. Oh, I see. Next. I'm busy being race director, and you're over here giving me a hard time That's about right. being politically Justin connected. Justin Kessler in the left lane of the Kessler Army. Christian Carsey in the right, 633. This is the third round of our 10K shootout. Seventh out red for Kessler, 25 clean and green, one above with a seven will be. Christian Carsey, your winner. Hey, don't forget, non-denominational chapel service tomorrow, <laughs> 8 o'clock a.m. We better be up and over there, me and you, Lou. Are you going to bless the holy water? Make sure you take this to hold your paperwork. I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not, Steve is going to preach tomorrow. Oh, Steve is going to preach tomorrow, yeah. okay. Our chaplain, Steve. That's good. Next That's up, good. Phil Borton in the left. Stand down, Kyle Horn. Nick Brown, <laughs> Nick Brown on the right. Oh, we're going to need security to the tower soon. Nick Brown, 494, chasing him down. Nick Brown's in that door car flying. Correct. 494, flying. it down. I wonder what that thing weighs. Mm. It's got that modern, I, I always call it like a shiny primer. It's a clear-coated primer, almost oh. gray. Yeah. Seems to be the new flavor of the year. Ooh, two fouls separate them. Close race, who do we got? It is going to be Nick Brown in the right lane. Taking 21, four. dead seven, taking fourth foul. Lindsey back, 629 in the left. Derek Derrish in the right down, 558. All crew up in the right-hand lane. Look at them high fives. Remember when it used to be fun like that? It was it's, awesome. It still is at my house. Like, if I bring home sprinkles for ice cream, oh, my gosh, I love this. I still have little people. It's just cool, man. Like, I just want to pause. Sprinkles are for winners. Well, I don't get sprinkles That's then. That's it. Good gosh. Man, this guy, with, he's tough over here. Mm-hmm. I did notice something. I haven't been down in the dark through here, and I'm not sure if the bottom lights are not on, but it is dark down through the bottom of this track right now. Did you notice that? Look. 
I'm focused on the tree. I'm, po I'm the positive, I'm negative Nancy. Lindsay backed <laughs> 629 in the left. We could put a spin on this. You ready? Ooh. Let me hear it. The spin is, you are the light, and the light is on the starting line. Oh. See? Going under three right now, Lindsay. Look, she is looking over here like. Lindsay back. Where? Yeah. Who are these I, two I clowns, and where is the circus? Yeah, well, the reality is I thought those mushrooms and the eggs were up, but apparently not. Derek Derrish in the right, 5.59 five, on a 5.58. Five, Your winner is Lindsay back dips under three thou for the W. Well, we had to remove Marco because at this point he's on uh, Mentos therapy. Oh, he is and bad. We, and we figured at this point we're probably going to have to, it's going to be a. Mentos. He's going to need a 12-step program to get him off of the sugar. Absolutely. He's been eating clean, right? So you take a guy that's been eating clean, it, it's not good. 12th foul red for Sullivan. Kessler gets the automatic win and to run it out, flat foot it through the radiator to go one above four, 538 at a buck 27. Chad May in the left-hand lane in the 574. If anybody's interested, that car is for sale. He's going to be promoting a new car here pretty soon, campaigning. Larry Haupt, second, right-hand lane. He's going to be dialed in at 583 in the S-Dime. So once again, you're interested. I believe it's a 68 because I can't see the wing window on the side. Camaro, Chad's chassis car is for sale. So see Chad May. Both drivers... Inching into the lights, tree drops, we're green, an eight to not an eight. Wow, he's got an eight in there. Just followed by a two. Larry Hop not gonna mess that one up. Takes a bunch, gonna move on to the next round. Chad May done for that entry for the evening. He was dead nine, see I told you. No matter what you do, you could be red, you could be above, gonna be dead. That is a Pontiac coming into the water. The big one? Oh. Ronnie Smith in the right lane, down 603. He's 21 up front. Not going to get the win. He's under, taking 33 to be two, uh, 1.2 under. Sean Dennis, 594 dial. It's going to be 594.6. Missed it a touch up front, but made up on the other side. He's moving on. Next up in the left lane in the Pontiac Grand Prix that weighs as much as a road grader, it's going to be Whack Daddy. Ron Baisden. He's from around here somewhere, I believe, Columbus area. That's what they say. He's a regular. Right-hand lane in the Malibu is going to be JT Britt. He's dialed in 636. I have a cousin that runs those Pontiacs. Now tread lightly. I'm not sure about you guys. Tread, I just don't tread lightly. I've they, got a garage full of them. That is a family. Uh, family of Pontiacs. Like if you were putting in a, a gear, it's mm -hmm. a tooth to two out. Ooh, 28 to a 12. Oh. Baysden runs nine foul under, taking 36. It's not going to work. JT Britt's going to move on. 28, one above one. Tristan Strauss. Said that. Tristan Strauss, left-hand lane. He's going to be dialed in and posting up a 473. As we move on here at beautiful National Trail Raceway. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's an oddity, right? When there's a single, the elapsed time shows up further down not in the eighth spot but it mm. is correct 473 correct dead six on a 473 27 up front that's going to do it for round number three of the 10k shootout it's five after ten matt it's i'm i'm not sure last night was kind of a you know 
a little bit of an exhausting night for you. Did a good job all night. How are you holding up? It wasn't exhausting. I was just thrilled to know that I was keeping you awake as you were traveling here. Well, you went, well, it's 1.20 in the morning. (laughs) As we have a plethora of golf carts here up on the line. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody still awake? The pizza was good. Plethora of people. You do you have the same calendar, Marco? Have word of the day calendar? Did you ever watch the movie The Three Amigos? Yes. It is a plethora. I love it. Iggy, what is a plethora? I love it. Once again, you have outwitted my superior intellect. If we're going deep into the archives of cultural history, for some reason, popping into my music feed. No, it's not the Muppets. It's Mr. Bob Dabalina. Anybody else know that song? Say it again, Bob Dabalina. No. I can't play it for you because we're on Motor Mania, but I can sing it. It's a rap song. It's like, Mr. Dabalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina, Mr. Bobalina, Mr. Bob Dabalina. Nobody else knows that but me? That ain't right. Did you hear what he said? It's told. Well, oh, I. Yeah. Oh, (laughs) here's the ladder. Ladder's hot off the press for the shootout. (laughs) But I can't play it, right, Joanne? I would love to play it. It would educate my friends. I'm going to take your word for it. Oh, my my music. You have a broad spectrum? Very broad spectrum. Oh, is this the Pittsburgh final? This is one of the Pittsburgh finals. Here we go. New Alexandria in the house in Columbus. Are you going to announce Price or Tedesco? That's what we're going to say. Oh, it, it, it comes up Tedesco. as Tedesco. All I right. just do what I'm told. That's how we're doing it. I don't. I'm not. Rich Corey, sponsored by Moses Electric, dialed in 481 out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, taking on. I'm just. Miss well, I want to Tedesco. point out that Rich Corey is a little bit greedy. He's doing it. Well, uh, do you think at this point that how much how many talks were there at this point about chopping money up at this point? Do you think? If I'm Rich Corey. Yeah, what are I'm you dro- saying? I'm dropping the wisdom because of Flyer. Because he's, he's not sitting on the buy. Yeah. Twice as good as everybody else. Let it ride. Let it roll. Throw him, man. Yeah, man. But then again, he has paired up with Mia, so it's a right. tough, tough pull right there. All right, so here we go. 576 to a 481. Did you call the left or the right? Uh, I'm not sure if I called both of them. I'll take left. Okay, you're going to take left this time? Mm-hmm. There you go. My daughters think the world of, like, Mia Tedesco. She's a, they, they've been fans of her since they met her at Galat, like, eight years ago or something. Yes. Uh, very, very solid driver. Oh, she's uh, so down. She's I, cool. I like with uh, Jason Lynch how they just switch cars and they all can drive different cars. It's, it's awesome. Five to a 16. Rich Corey, full control, but it's not going to oh, happen. Oh, look at this. Miss Mia, 16, dead eight, taking seven foul. So Mia moving on. 137, did he park it at 483? I'm going to say yes. I think that car should go 140. Kessler on the by run here as we're sitting here waiting for Mr. Corey to come back to run his next one. Corey still has one in in the fight. Coming back to run. I'm getting poked. Hold on a second. There's this woman that texts me. I think I know who she is. No. It's supposed to be my backup announcer. But I'm not sure I can recognize her. All right, here we go. Kessler, 50. And runs out to be 5-1. I'm giving Britt a hard time under by a foul. Yes, Britt, dad jokes will be coming. In my notes up here, it says, don't worry. Britt... And Marco will help you out if you need a break. Yes. Thank Jesus for all that is good and holy, because I am so appreciative of Lou Greco. He comes and helps all the time. Well, it's just part of what you do. You believe in the brand? I mean, look at this race. You have the Ace Ohio races. Uh, I believe you support in the brand. Uh, a lot of good promoters out there. Um, I'm just thrilled to death when you got guys that will make and women that will make you breakfast. They do all, it seems like all of the T's are crossed and the dots are right. Hold on, boss says we need shoot out cars, back to the lanes, please. Shoot out cars, back to the lanes. We are looking for round number four. Shoot out cars, you're on a ladder. Shoot out cars, we're gonna send you the ladder out. 
shootout cars back to the lanes for pairings. So just remember, Matt Zapp, when you used to race, at this point in your life, if you would go out and race and you still had the Chevelle, you know, you have a small baseball team of children and family, so you would come into the racetrack. Hold on a second. That's, let's just wait a second. I don't have a full baseball team, but I do have enough for a full court press, and you have to have a sub, so we have six. Carry on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Ken Bear pays full admission for everyone at Bear Motorsports of your family to come. They feed you nonstop. They feed you breakfast. Donuts tomorrow morning, which you didn't mention. You mentioned the church service. Is the donuts in correlation with the church service in the morning? Oh, I have not only mentioned the donuts. I even read the sponsorship ad copy from Gen Y. Are they Taylor Hitch. are they with with the church service or do you or do we know where they're going to be? I have the answer. So if you get them, if you get your coffee and donuts at the yellow tent. They have normal caffeine and sugar content, but if you eat them at the church service, they are sugar-free, oh, caffeine-free. Oh, they're Sunday calories. It is holy donuts. They will be glazed holy donuts. I was calling people. Hold on a minute. We were calling round number four back to the lanes. I'm sending out a text. <laughs> Carry on. You go. Not in Motor Radio Land. Okay, moving on. This gentleman sitting out here that's running the lanes, and he's looking at us like we have a third eyeball in the middle of my head. Which I think is fairly justified because that poor man is straight. He's got it going on. He's like, look at those two. They, yes. They, they have problems. Just think, this is what they pay us. This is why you had the price of admission to the race. It was. You can say it was the which food. Is, which is why the price of admission is free. From, from Ken Bear, because this is not worth even a dime. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're going to be the former voice of the Ohio <laughs> Ace Race. Oh, uh, this will be my third and final stop of the year, and probably for 25 as well. <laughs> oh, boy. Track crew out there running the drag, picking up some debris. Sam Lance said he was going to do a wood shoe short step here and a soft shoe afterwards. Can we have bootleg polka music? Would that be okay for Murder Mania? What if we brought an accordion up here and we played it? Original polkas. No, I think original music we're allowed to do. Oh. Yeah. What's that, Joanne? Are we allowed to? Acapella. Acapella. We can acapella. do acapella. Oh, that's that's ridiculous. No. Hey, hey. I know Marco's Italian, but I'm going to give you this question. You ready? Okay. Okay. Now, this is serious. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what do you call a fake noodle? <laughs> An impasta. Oh, Come now. Geez. You had that one. Oh, goodness gracious. Mm. How do you make an artichoke? Strangle it. Are we going to the dad jokes already? Hey, I had to because Britt asked. She asked? Okay. That's it. Hey, why did that tomato blush? I don't know. Saw why did the, that tomato blush? I saw the salad dressing. <laughs> it's a shame my daughter's asleep right now. She would love all of these. Hey, why do mushrooms get invited to all the parties? Well, if it's according to this one, they'd be putting the eggs. eggs. That's what I was thinking, though. No, it's because they're the fun guys. The fun guy. I got it. Are those jokes copywritten? No. Hey, how about this one? What did the one plate... Whisper to the other plate. I don't know. What did one plate whisper to the other plate, Matt? Dinner's on me. <sighs> well, we'll be back to that later. All right, we have called all of our returning cars. My drum set is still down at the finger. <laughs> I shut it up. Now, all I know is Scott Sill made an appearance. Scott the... Sill right now is out 
out there right now using my equipment on my trailer, probably playing a show. I guarantee you, he's he's like the warm up act, right? Yes. No, he is. He's the full. He's the main. I think he's the draw now because what has happened is he went socially viral. Yes, immediate. he's viral. Oh, he so, was. He was. He was vile or viral. Um, both. Yes. I want to point out that I was parked like three trailers away. Mm-hmm. Yep. How long have you known Scott Sill? Scott Sill? 80s? Uh, yeah, late 80s, early 90s. Hmm. I've aspired to be like we, him since 1990. We really, really are hard on, on our friends that we talk about on the mic. Oh, he's one of my if, best friends on the one plan. people or people that are out on Motor Media would only know some of the... Uh, how good some of these people are and the uh, oh they have a terrible, terrible opinion of them because imagine if we weren't friends what we would say right oh my and, they, and they all have a good sense of humor but uh the racing community yeah. i think is one of the best things of why we're still hold doing on this. don't go anywhere there was this one time at thompson not a band this camp. one time it was a one camp. it was not a band camp so yeah. we're at thompson and we had there was a whole there was a plethora of chevelles I had a 68, Scott had a 69, my uncle had a 70, my other uncle had a 71, and they all looked a lot alike. And We were young, and for some reason, Jim Curtis did not like it when you burnt through the starting line. He would get really angry. In a door car or in any car? Just for some reason. So somehow we're in the water, you know, they shut us off, and Scott goes, hey, we should burn through the tree. And I said, that sounds great. So I had a big block, 400, and like a nine-inch tire. It, this was, it was on, you know what I mean? I could have done my burnout from the start of Thompson halfway through Geauga County. So we get fired up, and I'm like 6,800 hot in the water, third gear, let her rip, Scott goes blowing through, and I stop about six inches before the tree. <laughs> Man, Curtis went out there, laid in the sill, and I'm just sitting there with my hands up going, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know what's wrong with him. Shaking my head at him. Man, he didn't talk to me for like three weeks. If you bring it up tonight, which is probably now it's going to happen, he's still mad about it. He, he needed a Friends hug. don't do that to friends. He I was did. like, brothers. He need, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Anyways. He needed, he needed an emotional support hug after that yeah. one. Yeah. See you guys. Yep, that happened. Good times. So we're down to 16 or 15? 15. 15. Mm -hmm. We're down to 15. Ryan Sparks on a buy run on this ladder. Now it's, it's the hard part about keeping all your races straight. Well, we're still waiting for Rich Curry, Corey to come back, correct? Yeah. Who's he all facing? Right, right. Kevin. No. Yes. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, too many rounds. Kevin the donkey. Every time I see their all they sh <laughs> Yeah, Rich. There we go. Dennis Rock, I'm worried about which story Sill told you. There's some about me that I'd rather leave in the past, but maybe if he told you the burnout story, that's a good one. If he told you anything else. Well, oh, legal polka. We got it. Thanks, Joanne. Oh, you really? I knew we could do it. That'll bring people to the staging lanes fast. The threat, oh, the threat of that. Quick. Oh, she's on top of it. See, Mancini's blowing my phone up, too. Giving me a hard time. Mm-hmm. He's a good fella, though. Yes, he is. These two guys here, I'm sure they've raced each other more than 10 times. But uh, <clears throat> as we're sitting here now, Kevin has been really driving well uh it seems like every time we've been going out places i didn't i haven't raced for like five or six weeks now and uh kevin can has really been doing well this year uh laying some pretty good laps rich Corey, 
it seems like uh, the drag series in right now, it seems to be doing real well for him. And uh, both of these drivers here. What's that? Is Kevin doing a lot of maintenance on a boat that doesn't belong to him? Um, Probably. Um, I think that, that that maintenance issue on that boat was actually f straightened out pretty quick. Okay. We, we have uh, three or four successful Gilligan's Island journeys on that thing already. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Kevin Boring, who on his sheet put, when he grows up, he wants to be like? William Prest has to be. Uh, Was absolutely. that correct? William Prest Jr. 472 mm -hmm. in the left for Boring. Again, Rich Corey in the right. A tenth up. Going down 482. This is for all the marbles in here in the big, 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 big race. Whoa. Whoa. Rich Corey had the starting line advantage. He was four. Kevin puts it dead two, taking three foul. Rich had him covered by 20 at the tree and gets behind three foul. It's going to be Kevin Boring taking out Rich on that one. You got three hours of sleep, used a tire as your dinner table, and shredded your knuckles on a stubborn bolt. All for a weekend of glory. You supply the skill and sweat, count on us for the rest. Summit Racing Equipment, tools and parts to make your race car stronger, safer, and faster. The World Speed Shop, summitracing.com. So oh, he travels. I don't know why he won't come over here. But the problem that we had is when he was at Galat, he was being so great, and he was offering all those athletic. Um, he was doing those morning calisthenic programs. He was offering free yoga. He was doing all that stuff for the health and wellness and betterment of all the other racers. He was no cost, like free classes. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize he. Oh, was... he's a giver. Oh. He's such a giver. Mm. If you if you do get the chance to see Chris Mancini. He's he's not a handshaker. He, he likes to hug. Mm. So just go right up to him, lay one on him, especially in staging lanes. Is that is that right how that works? Right before he likes to go racing, he likes that. <laughs> so the, I would just say, yeah. If you're listening, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. She's so crazy. She's she is a paint. She is like the, the patron pa saint. It's big time. Honestly, straight. That's it for sure. Yeah. I hear motors running. Oh. Are we drag racing? I don't know. Okay. We're here all night. I was going to read the ladder, but apparently we didn't get down to that part. <laughs> we didn't part. even get to it. I can't even see. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll try to keep track here. So we're down to three in the main event, down to 15 in the bonus 10K shootout. What's Mancini's company? What's he, he called? Has, he know? does a landscape. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right yeah. now off the top of my head. He'll text it to you. Oh, I hope he does because mm -hmm. I think it's Awesome Sauce Cuts, and he's helping to bring tonight's 10K shootout. Oh, is that what it is? I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. But he'll remind us. Have you seen some of the stun walls and some of the stuff he does? Teresa Coltonbox asking me if we're watching the chat, and, and no, we're not, and I'm assuming it's, it's probably it's pretty up. ugly. <laughs> it's lit up. All right, who? All right, Tristan Strauss is back up left side down 473. Oh, I should have taken Nathan, huh? I'll take, take the whole one. Nathan Altenbach, and you can have Strauss. Okay, sounds good. They are rolling in by the fives up here. Did you see that? 
It's a popular place to be up at the starting line with all this money up for grabs. No slouch, 10 grand. Yeah, what a cool bonus race. Nathan's 23. And goes under 4,000. Oh, man, takes 24, should have been 20 or less. Tristan Strauss, your winner, dead on one. Strauss moving on. Look at that, front to back, S10 Nationals. We're going to make that happen. We are going to make that happen. One of these days, we're going to have the S10 Nationals. Imagine how many you get. Uh-oh, I'm getting messages now from Wayne. Is, is press tuned in? Pure torture. <laughs> it's pure torture listening to Lou. I don't think so. I'm just the third wheel here. Oh, Bill Prest. This race would be complete if Bill Prest Jr. and Mancini were here. Could be. No, I'm, I, that's the only thing. I offered. We have a sold, we got a sold out field, free breakfast, perfect weather, great conditions. The only two things we're missing? Mancini and Preston. That's it. That's it. But you know what? It's always important to strive for perfection, although you can potentially never achieve it. I thought Bill was going to come. Yeah, I really did. I thought he was coming down here. And uh, he backed out. So, Sir William, you had uh, every opportunity. Look at that. There was two races just today. Gave him, offered him a bed in the motorhome. Flying solo this weekend. Could and you offer a bed, too? William. Uh, mm -hmm. little, Christian little, Carsey in the right lane. Little spoon. Dialed in six, three, four. Uh, yeah. Who's little. in the left? I, I don't know, but Press doesn't like to beat a little spoon. John Cook dialed 463. <laughs> oh, no. 69. Ouch. John Cook, 15 in control. Down dead five to be 20 total. Your winner, John Cook. Hey, taking 60. More you make, the more you take. Hey, why do you lift when you know your stuff is right? He's got it right. Here's a true story. This is for the OGCG. Okay. <clears throat> when this whole money thing was starting to gain some steam, and there was this first $100,000 to win race at Rockingham, Marco loaded up and he headed on down, and he was racing with Galetti. And I said, well, I'll show up with the Galat Dragster. So there's like 700 entries into this thing. Mm -hmm. Marco says, we saved you a spot. So I roll in late, park right by him, 700 cars. First round, I have to run Galetti. <laughs> I bust him. We come back, and he's like, hey, man, you're going to have to load your stuff up and leave. I thought you were nice. Larry Howe going red. Give the win to Sean Dennis in the left-hand lane. 593, going to be one above six. Moving on. Larry Hawk done for the evening. Keeping on, keeping on. So that's how I met the OGCG, right? He was nice enough to save me a spot. We get paired. So then I'm on a roll. I don't race much. I had been off for like seven years. And everybody knew me as the announcer guy from Galat. They're like, did you, did you ever race before? I go, no, I've never done this before. <laughs> First time, I don't even have a license, right, or whatever. So I keep going. It's like fourth or fifth round. It's late. And they're watching the live stream. And they re-nicked me. I never looked over. I just kept making time runs because the car ran the same. I just rip it. It was like a practice tree race. And I kept going. And that made Galetti just hot. Nice. Sarah Dad. Basil. Whoop. Go ahead. Derek Darish, right-hand lane, dialed 559 in the Vega. Sarah Basil on the left, out 460. How's Nick tonight? Nick, you doing well? Getting big? How's Three thou separate start? him at the tree. Yeah. Dragster out by a thou. Left side is done. Derek, your winner, 561. Two above, zero. One thou from cool in the left lane. That's unfortunate. Sarah, good lap, though. But last month with the OGCG announced, and he did a really great job. I was looking forward to him coming here, and I think he had the, he had a conflict. I forget where he was mm. at. Tool conference. Uh, all I know is Galetti's wife kept texting him, stop acting or stop speaking with inflection on every sentence. 
<laughs> like he would round it up at the end and make it look like it had a question mark on it. I thought he did great. Yeah. He had honey in his voice that day. Oh, he's tremendous. Nick Brown, right lane, dialed four, nine, four in the fast door car. Left side going to be Jerry Hollingsworth on a 491. The drags are going to try to end that door car's day. Uh-oh. Looks like he's going to do it. Yeah. 006 to a 50. You can't give Hollingsworth that kind of room. Hollingsworth, two above zero, taking 35, easily at 132. Now we got Devin Payton on a 479. He's going to be taking on Jeremy Kessler, dialed in 537 in the fast Ford. Don't know, if it, is a Ford powered? Any idea? Mm -mm. The Thunderbird? I, I would like to answer you that probably not. Hmm. But I, I, would be, be. I want to be polite. There's a lot of Kesslers. Oh, but there's they, an army of Kesslers. Yeah, well, so it's we're like just if my say, kids all raced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we went full, full circle with the airport coming around. You're going to land at Lake Sully? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going in the water. And what? Everybody will be safe. That's it. Oh, Ooh. 11 red to 11 green. Devin Payton is done. Kessler going to put it one above five. Moving on. Hey, I think we have, we have enough gift certificates tonight that the folks losing this round, I believe, get $100 to Summit Racing Equipment. Yep. That was an added, unpublished bonus. Wow. I bumped up the numbers. Freebies are always awesome. Yeah. So everybody that's that lost at this round. Going to get 100 bucks. bucks to Summit. And the thing is, at our houses, right, that's as, that's as good as cash. Right? Because it's going to get can, spent anyway. Everybody can buy something. <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to spend it there anyway. Brings up J.P. Britt in the right-hand lane, dialed 636 in the Malibu. Taking on Lester Adkins, the Summit Racing Equipment side of the drag strip, dialed a blistering 438. Nearly two seconds of separation. Do you get on the converter? Do you wait? What do you do if you're the fast guy there? We wait a second. Yeah. Oh, and he's triple zero. Lester Adkins in control, top side. Man, one above five to be 15 total. Lester Adkins for the W. Well, now, well, that'll give him, that'll put him at the top of the sheet. We should have eight coming back. Ryan Sparks on the right-hand lane, dial 442. Taking the competition single. Flying Ryan. So that's three and eight. Here we go. Well, three, yeah, three and eight. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Mia will have a bye. Kevin Boring with lane choice over Kessler. One above with a four, 11 at the tree. Set up pretty decent. You know who else we're missing? Bob Tangler. Yeah. What's the best way to suspend your hot rod? Penske shocks. Absolutely. Eric Davis, honestly, one of the nicest fellas in the industry. Uh, all Penske's on my car. Uh, work me through the program. Yeah. Uh, customer service, revalving, whatever I needed to uh, set the car up. Came to the track, helped me set it up. We tested it a few times. Uh, 
I just can't say enough about Penske and how much they've helped me with my program. Well, let's do this then. Mm -hmm. How about this? If there's anybody serious, this is a serious offer, all jokes aside, this is a serious offer. If there's anyone out there in need of shocks for your car, if you are in a situation where your car is either not working the way you want it to or your shocks are outdated and wore out, if you are the first person, we're looking for our 20K semifinal, 20K semifinal to the lanes, please. This is a serious offer. The first person to come to the control tower, Lou and I are going to give you a $1,000 gift certificate to Penske. Buy one, get one. The first person that gets to the tower that needs the buy one, get one. And this is serious. This is not a joke. Minimum value of 1000 up to 1300 depending on how you valve them. If you need a shock, if you need shocks, you'll get a buy one, get one. 50% off for the first person to make their way to the control tower. They're dead sprinting. Look at this. That's awesome. You're not allowed to Ladies arm. and gentlemen, don't fight. This is a true $1,300 plus giveaway, courtesy of Eric Davis at Penske. Now, if we get him up here, we're going to have to do some sort of trivia, like how tall is Mikey Bloomfield, for example. <laughs> that was so are mean. Ba- are we back on that again? How did All Nick there? said was not. And I said, Nick, you're 14. That's not right. Is that how it started? Because I yeah, No, it started with Travis. Oh, uh, okay. No, yeah, that's they know, what makes they know it where fit. they're going. They're looking for gift certificates. Right. Bring them down. Whoever wants it, come on in. We're going to have to do the interview because now you're going to get yourself more than that. Are you in the market for Penske shocks for real? We need somebody that's looking this shock. It's amazing. Send you in. This is a buy one, get one. This is a true $1,200 hit. We also have a Penske hat and shirt we want to give away. Absolutely. Congratulations in here. You got to have to wear that wild and proud. There you go. Congrats. How about that? Unbelievable. How did you pull that? I didn't even know that was sitting there. Oh, it's like magic. Yes, I know. And it was sitting here. Good thing I was there. You would have lost out on 1,300 bones. That's it. Congratulations. Get in contact with Eric Davis. When you call Eric, say thank you to Ace Ohio because Eric has been nothing but tremendous to all of us. And I'm going to tell you this, that those that you see winning and consistently, Eric Davis has really helped tune them up. Congratulations. Thank you to Penske Shocks for that awesome giveaway. That's it. That was like a flash Imp- mob. Yeah, just How did ra- you just ra- drop that on me? The cool thing is Eric's going to be tickled. You want to know why? Why Because he loves helping those folks. And he's like, man, as long as we can find somebody that needs our product, make sure we give that away because what we want to do is redeem it. And we want to make them better. And that's truly, those are, like, he is straight-up customer service. You want to know the truth? Um, no, not really. The ace, it scares that, me. Through oh. the ace race is how I got in contact yeah. with Eric. He's great. And through a gift certificate that I won in an ace race uh, for a, a losing package, yep. that's how I ended up with shocks on my car. I'm not so lying. That's how Sills got connected to him. So they ended up doing an update to Maria's car, and that thing is out of control consistent. And so now you'll see both champ and, and junior champ, which is what we have to call Scott, because champ was champ first. Oh, yes, champ, that's true. But he's not 2.0. Mm. He's like jun- little champ. The sequel. Little champ. <laughs> little champ. He's he's uh, he's the coveted Norwalk champ. Well, he is, but he's also the first husband is what I texted. We're in a group thread. The first husband. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. It's like, well, if you're married to Maria... She's champ, mm-hmm. so he would obviously it be first. It says it on her car because I saw Oh, it straight right. up. Okay. So, anyways, back to first husband. <laughs> you have to hold that role. But first husband calls Eric. They get it all set up, and, man, that dragster has been on fire. So what I told Maria is, well, Nick Hastings wins two championships at Norwalk. Yes. This is in our phone. I texted it. I said, you really need to get rid of that dragster. And Scott needs a door car so the two of you can run. Somebody can go over there, and either you or he, want, you could run the shorty, and then you could run the door car, and you could be the top or super pro and pro champ and do like a, a whole Nick Hastings 2025 2.0 thing. Oh. And I, I, I want them to do that so badly. I would take her dragster on trade. I bet. I've seen. Did you see how that went? Like yes, I'll, That she, was full circle. I'll I saw put that Penske coming. new shocks on my truck. They can have it. And then I'll take her dragster. Mm. Because that's the kind of family member I am. I'm seeing a little bit of underlying circumstances. I don't think so. I just want to help her and help him because that car is like 
bolted to an ET, mm. and it's amazing. I've seen Scott drive a door car. I mean, that is that's pretty much that's where he was. Do you until remember the Vega, the seventy eight hundred RPM, oh, slam. one speed? He would go nine thirty at like one eighty four. <laughs> <laughs> no one How saw him How many Mentos have you had? Enough. One eighty four. Still, there was just weeks at Quaker that he could not lose in that Vega. Yeah, he was good in that, no doubt. So what do we do? Sell good. it. You got, when you're that good, you got to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. My wife makes fun of me. I do the same thing. Yeah, you were pretty good in next edition as well. Well, that's a sore subject. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have that back. We, we were at... Uh... Shoot out! Let's do it! There's only three of you. Yeah, that Chevelle, that no, beautiful was, blue there's 66. Eight there's eight shootout. Oh, shootout eight, main, main event, event three. three. Yes. Thanks for that. You're, no, it's good. No, no. Not that I remember things, mm -hmm. but I do remember that the last event I won, 2009, the Super Street deal at Summit. Yeah. So that makes me not only really poorly at what I do, extremely old. Ooh. And I'm worse than that guy, We're, you know, reminiscing about high school sports because it's been how many years? 15? Yes. Yeah. Do they still do winter circles the same way they used to back a decade and a half ago? Because that's the last time I won anything. Um, I, I think you pull in, take a picture, and somebody shakes your hand. Do you know how? I don't know either. I haven't been there in a long time. It's, uh, it's been almost two years since I've been at one. Oh, uh, we better do it. that. I'm telling Let's you. Let's do that tomorrow then. Uh, yeah, I'm usually. Sunday's usually my Sun, Sunday's your day. Kevin's usually Mr. Saturday, and it's showing, you know, what, what he does. And uh, Sunday's usually uh, when I usually do my best. My last win two years ago was on a Sunday. This is also a true story. Anytime, anytime I let Marco drive anything I've owned, mm -hmm. he would win in it. Yeah, that's a good friend for you. Oh, I had a Monza. You remember my red Monza? The one that Chabo has? No, Different. it was Looked similar, like yeah. Ran that at Quaker, jumped in it, went right to the finals. Mm. Marco. Put him in my dragster, right to the finals. We rebuilt the dragster, took it all the way to Canada, never tested it. He won top dragster, first time he ever ran in it. Are you are you seeing the situation They buy a car for Emily and, and Marco... Goes right in it, wins saying, 70 yeah. some thousand dollars yes. every other week like it's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Marco can drive. He, he's a talented guy. Builds a good transmission, builds good converters, and uses this product and wins with it. So uh, there it is. Then he wanted to go to Halloween Classic one year, and he only had a car going like 650s quarter mile. And he said, Hey, can I take your Chevelle to the Classic? I said, Sure. I said, You got to put like. 1023 into the lay box, you'll be double O, maybe triple zero. It's going to go 613. It did exactly that. He called me, he goes, I think it's broke. I said, well, It's not broke. What did it run? He goes, Well, I was whatever, double O three or something. I said, That's right. He goes, It went 613, but he goes, It's so slow. I was looking around, I thought I was broke, but he wasn't broke. I remember his Blue Nova. Oh, did he my. have a Blue Nova? Mm. I believe. He had a Chevelle. Eight, I remember an eight. A&T Garage. The was that a Chevelle? Yeah, he had a, he had a Chevelle. Chevelle. Yep. Yeah. Way back in the day. That's Nine, when he won the 90s. early 90s Quaker City Championship. Mm. Yeah. Then he went to the Trans Am. Started rocking it in Top Sportsman. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the day that he's going to say he's going to build another Top Sportsman car. You're going to be waiting, feeling. I'm afraid. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Kim said she she liked that kind of racing, that she, she enjoyed it. So... Never know. We need everybody back to the lanes. Shoot out back to the lanes. We're ready for you. Uh, Ted Barnes says I'm a winner anyway. That's nice of him. You don't want you want to know why? Because he's also a race promoter, and he gave me the hope. I'm going to drive to Canada now. Mm. Uh, Ted and I, when we were doing all that 1090 stuff, and he was putting on great races north of the border, and. Some, like those are some of our Cayuga best men. Or, yeah, they were all over the place. He had a super series, and he he and Andrew Stewart, they do they do some great stuff up there. And uh, we we were traveling. Those were heavy IHRA days, and man, some of our our closest friends. We 
20,000 miles a year. You would pick the circus up every other week, right? We would go everywhere. And then you just go to track to track to track. It was always the same group of people, but man, we had a good time. That's what this has become. The ace races are like a reboot of just family. That's that's what's cool about it. I didn't really get a chance to talk to the shepherd to see if uh, how it was. I remember the last ace race, wasn't it? Didn't we get a few Canadians that were turned around when they were coming down? There's a few issues. No, I, I was like wondering how, how it was this time. I need to ask them. Uh, I had... <laughs> A few Canadian friends that came uh, when we played at uh, Night Under Fire up at Norwalk. And, uh, they didn't say, they said they got through okay. Like Detroit area. Yeah. In Canada. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you, you have either us babbling or we play polka until the cars come. So pick your poison. They're I don't all, even they're hear all, any they're, all, they're pointing at the tower like, oh, I'm getting text. Where's the polka? What's Trav need here? Something's coming to us. Hold on. Oh, I hear engines. I got this. Mm hmm. Got to go write it down. It's semi-final time here for the main event. Left-hand lane from Beaver, Pennsylvania. It's going to be Kevin the Donkey. Boring. He's going to be taking on Josh Kessler in the fast door car, dialed in 502. Kevin Boring with lane choice, opted to take the left lane. $20,000 up for grabs. These three drivers have weathered through a grueling field. You've been watching it all day for everybody out there on Motor Mania TV. And we are down to three. Round eight brought to you by American Race Cars in Norwalk, Ohio, and a Bruzy Racing Transmissions from Warren, Ohio. They're in. One, thou, separate them. Kevin, two, thou, under, taking 12, needs to take 10. Kessler drops off. He's one above one, 15 on the tree. Kessler going to the final round to meet me at Miss Mia Tedesco in the Camaro. Fuel factory car, left-hand lane, chooses to take for the by run, 576 dial-in. Miss Mia, 16. Shuts it off early.
American Race Cars, we design and build the most competitive dragsters on the planet. Founded in 2005, American has quickly become one of the premier chassis builders in sportsman racing. Travis Colangelo and the American team focus on quality, precision, and driver safety. And remember, exceptional customer service comes with every car sold. Round wins, race wins, and championships start here. Join the American family today. For more information, visit AmericanRaceCars.net or see us at the track. Shootout racers, there should be eight of you. Back to the lanes, please. Shootout racers, back to the lanes. There should be eight of you for pairing. Once again, shootout racers, please make your way to the staging lanes. There should be eight of you. Once again, we're down to our final. It's gonna be Kessler and Tedesco. Kessler, lane choice. For our $20,000 race, we're down to eight cars for our $10,000 shootout.
The most powerful tool in your toolbox is the Summit Racing app. Get quick, easy access to Summit Racing 24-7. The Summit Racing mobile app offers one-touch shopping, so you get the parts you need fast. Build your shopping list, research parts, check your order status, and connect with us on social media. On your couch, in your garage, or at the track. Summit Racing's mobile app, available now for your Android or Apple device. The most powerful tool in your toolbox. I don't think I ever finished when he we did the Penske giveaway. I didn't finish the rest of the sponsors that uh, we wanted to thank. One of us thank uh, round eight was House of Pain, obviously a bruisey in American race cars. Then round ten will be sponsored by Mosier Vintage Trailers and Stainless Works. Also like to throw in there TFC, uh, Gene Lampshire. Thank you very much for being a sponsor of this race. Summit Racing Equipment, and of course. Chuck's Auto Body, McCarty Auto Parts, and also the Fleet Doctor for providing Motor Mania TV so it is absolutely free to everyone that's interested out there watching us on the live feed right now. Hope you're having a wonderful Saturday night. We've got clear skies here in Hebron, Ohio. Enjoying and loving what we love to do, which is drag racing and hanging out. Don't forget tomorrow morning we have the RFC Racers for Christ Church service at 8 o'clock. Also... Gen Y Free Donut and Coffee Bar, Stainless Works, 20,000 main event tomorrow, no time runs, door cars will be first, for round one eliminations tomorrow morning will be at 9 o'clock, also I'd like to thank Intensity Racing, Phil Smita and crew, also Hoosier Tire, and everyone else, I see Drag Race Solutions had the buy run bonus. Just want to make sure we touch on everybody that was on it, that was able to provide all of the prizes and the things for and the round sponsorships for the three ace races this year. We appreciate all of you. And thank you for believing in the brand. I'm sure Travis and Marco are very appreciative and uh, want to make sure that we are very gracious to the sponsors because it's tough out there, man. I hear cars running. We're calling them in. About to get it done. Here we are, first pair. Dragster door car. Gonna be Jerry Hollingsworth in the left lane. He's gonna be dialed in at 491. Taking on Derek Davish, dialed 560 in the Vega.
No. They're asking me if I can see the live feed. No, I can't. I could see it on the monitor. I can't see the chat boards. I left my phone at the trailer. Yes, I did. Both drivers in, tree drops. Hollingsworth, nine red. Derek Davish was ready, 006, dead three, nine total. Hollingsworth gonna have his, was gonna have his hands full with it. Derek Davish moving on. Next up in the left lane, Lester Atkins dialed in 438, taking on Tristan Strauss dialed in 473. Four seventy three getting chased by half seconds. Crazy. How fast these cars are nowadays. We're in flickering. Both drivers set. Tree drops. Clean and green. Four thousand separate up. Advantage. Tristan Strauss. Wind light. Tristan Strauss. Twenty one. Dead seven. Taken one foul. Lester Atkins. Twenty five. Dead four. Not gonna work. Tristan Strauss will go to the round of four. Brings up John Cook in the left lane down, 462. Taking on another section of the Kessler Army, Jeremy Kessler, fast door car down in 538 in the Ford T Bird. Both drivers in. Five red for John Cook. Kessler, 002. One above nine. Kessler going to the next round. Our final pair. It's going to be Ryan Sparks dialed in 442. Taking on Sean Dennis. In the Corvette, dialed in five nine four. Sparks has him doubled up. Advantage Sparks, gonna take the win. Taking triple zero. Really wasn't gonna matter, Sean Dennis was fourth thou under. Sparks, moving to the semifinal. Tedesco, please report to lanes one and two. 
Kessler will have lane choice. Final round, Kessler and Tedesco. Please come up the lanes one and two for the $20,000 final. Here, I am graced with the presence of Matt Zapp. Here he is. Matt, we've called for the final. We're down to four. We're down to two. That's right. We'll take them all. We'd love to run that semi next. We'd love to, but they just ran. Right. We're going to be cordial. But it would be cool to run final and final. Be awesome. A lot of money being won here tonight. Got 30 large. Up for grabs here within a couple rounds. Isn't that nice? Yes. Congratulations to Kevin Boring. He was with a semifinalist in 20. And uh, here we are. We're down to two. Tedesco and Kessler. Chapel service, 8 o'clock a.m. on Sunday here, second floor of the tower. Round number one of the main event will be coming out at 9 o'clock a.m. That is the Stainless Works $20,000 to win Sunday show, 9 o'clock. Door. We need our semifinalists back, please. Semifinalists back. And on Sunday, Gen Y free coffee and donut service starting at 9 o'clock or slightly there before. So chapel service at 8, free coffee and donuts in first round at 9 o'clock. And we will come out with double door cars. Is that you? I might I might have a donut in the car. Well, I might just have a plate. It's all good. Mm -hmm. There's no rule. Open face helmet, you can have a donut. A donut. You could, Cop, coffee might be kind of tough. You need a really good Yeti. Get a lid on that thing. I, uh, well, your I did car's in, very I did in, smooth. I did install a uh, Harley Davidson cup holder. Mm-hmm. I do. It fits the Yeti perfect. It even has an insulator in it. And I could say right before you put your helmet on, it is really nice to take a drink of water in the car without it rolling around. <laughs> Remember the other day, the days before, hit the brakes and all the junk would go flying in the front. <laughs> uh, where's my sunglasses? They're under the seat somewhere. <laughs> Once again, all winners, we'll take you.
here we are. This is the vintage trailer final for $20,000. Now, if you want to take that money and use it to purchase a brand new vintage trailer, we're going to give you 5% off of retail tonight if you claim your order and do so before midnight. They're going to have to get back here awful fast they to do that, they got plenty Matt. of time. We could finalize that. No problem. As long as they say, hey, Matt, I'm interested in that, you can make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll backdate it. It's not a problem. We're going to pre-order no, right now. No. We're just going to say that something's gonna, interesting. We're going to hold <laughs> hold their spot in line. Okay. No line jumping causes ejection to the park. That's right. Final touches on the track here. We're going to drag it. Thanks to the whole crew, Sam and everyone out there took care of the track all day long out in that hot sun. It was 88 from what I saw today, degrees out there. And I think they got a nap from 2P or 2A to like 6A because they were cleaning and prepping all night. Absolutely. It was amazing. Yep. Which should be what you had about an hour and a half on them? Oh, they work so much harder, man. They, they do such a nice job. It's. Been there, done that, worked the water box, worked the starting line. It's What kind are these? Are they all the same? Uh, no, there's multiple versions, but those are the fruit kind. I think the ones I don't think I've ever had Mentos before. I think the ones that make the... Of it. Um, but we're, we had one. It was pretty sour. The one that uh, makes it like blow up out of the bottle is the, the peppermint ones. Oh, it has to be a certain one. Not all yeah, of them I, have a nuclear I don't, capacity. I can neither um, confirm. All right, we're going to have to we're going to have to go to the chat bleachers and maybe even the TikTok to look this up. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. We can social media our way to the answer. That's right. You can find it on the internet. It's got to Or be we true. could just drop a Mentos in a bottle of pop right now and see if it blows the tower up. We could definitely do that. Let's wait till after the finals. <laughs> Tedesco Kessler. Are they waiting on us, sir? No, they're waiting on the tractor, see? Oh, I can't see. That's far, far away. Mm. It's John Deere Green. Green. On a hot summer night. Rest in peace, Joe Diffie. Great guy. Oh, amazing. Did a few shows with him. Nice man. There's Marco. Marco, we could just see. You could just actually... Right there. Right there. Can you see him? Goodness gracious, Marco! Still, he's still able to, to conduct himself on the scooter. He looks like he's doing okay. He looks tired. Oh, he doesn't look tired. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Oh, he's not. He's tired. he's carefully looking upon not as his final here. He's ready to go to the winter circle. He has to look spry. Oh, in the circle. that's it. We all look spry in the winter circle. Sporting his own swag. Hey, man. Awesome. When you were that cool. Final round coming to us here in just a minute. Must Two cars remain, 20 grand on the line. Sitting there on your scooter, you're a Bruzy with the Bruzy shirt on, with an Bruzy sticker on the cars that are about to run the Bruzy final on actual living, vintage. Living the dream. Living the dream. The only thing that would make it cooler if on that same scooter was Troy Stone with a vintage sweatshirt, whether who's oh, in the front and, and who's in the back. And an Bruzy sticker on the S car. Yeah, yeah, right. There you go. All right, Josh Kessler, right side, is going to come in, dialed 502, chasing down that beautiful first-generation fuel factory Camaro Mosier flying over the rear quarter. And there isn't a bruisey decal on there, is there not? Sure. So will he have to pay contingencies on his own race? Oh, Just, heck yeah. That's how we're working with this, right? Yeah. Good thing Mia's running fuel factory fuel in that Camaro. Right. All right, 576 for Tedesco, left lane. Kessler on a 502. I'm just going to put this out there, Matt. Yep. This is evening number two with two door cars in the final. Mm-hmm. So is tomorrow the day that the dragsters are going to redeem? They were, they were fighting pretty hard. Had, uh, you know, some good drivers in there. I so have maybe a, tomorrow will be the day. I have a theory. 
by going to eighth mile dominantly and splitting the field has definitely leveled this. Here we go. This is your $20,000 final for the vintage trailer race. Kassler, four red. Mia Tedesco, four green. 1.5 under. Miss Mia Tedesco, your $20,000 vintage trailer winner. And you want to point out, you know, Josh Kessler rolling five O's. He did not even have to burn across the starting line. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Are you, is that a dig? No, it's not a dig. Oh. Are, you, are you doing that? Yeah. Eh, stop doing that. I do. You don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Um, there's a theory behind it. We'll talk about it after. <laughs> well, anyways, back to the whole door cars um, rule the world thing, right? Yeah. So, obviously, the quality of the equipment is getting better and better and better. The fact that we're 660, not 1320. Sure. Well, quality fuel is obviously bringing that. I mean, they're, they're perfecting more and more all the time. Tired. <laughs> the distributor and turn it back if the car was spinning off the line mm -hmm. you know we had three speeds there was you know we didn't run glides at the time uh, now it just seems alcohol big tire a glide it just seems to be uh, where it's at anymore what year did you start what year did I start racing mm -hmm. I was uh, nonchalant probably 1991 and uh, no box and I would only race maybe six or seven events a year just the local you know, when you my come, dad raced. When you came to Quaker, what were you running back in the day? My Trans Am. Right, 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 right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a really nice 79 Pontiac That's Trans Am. Right. It was uh, actually in Hot Rod Magazine a couple times. It was nice. nice. And uh, Do you remember Dave when he would announce a Quaker and the later the night would get, he'd slur a little bit and he would always, I remember like if somebody was dialed like 588, he would say 58 twice. Yeah. <laughs> 58 twice. <laughs> Did he also announce at Drag City once in a while? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did remember that. I used to work the tower with Chuck Johns and Dave, and mm -hmm. gosh, I miss Chuck Johns. And he, we, he's built another beautiful car. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Is Chuck. it the same Roadster that he had? I don't believe it's the same one. Because he had one. He that, had one. That copper-colored one, yeah. I remember. Yeah, gosh, that was a gorgeous car, too. And that's mm -hmm. the one Ryan was driving for a while. Sure. Yep. We need those. Semi-finalist in the shootout. You may even be down there. I'm hollering for no reason. I can't see through the wall, but if you're not there, please get there. We're looking for four cars ready to go. We want to finish this evening up. Once again, congratulations to Mia Tedesco, the winner your $20,000 winner for the evening. Also, Josh Kessler for the runner-up. Kevin Boring, semis. Congratulations to all of our winners already for the evening. And I'm sure we're going to look forward here with, for the winner circle picture. We're going to be doing that tonight. I have to tell Mia, please, please, please remember that on Sunday, you will have the buy run with car number 445. We do not want that to be a problem. We want Miss Mia to remember that she will be on the potential for buy round number one on Sunday with car number or entry 445. Mia Tedesco. Hey, Derek. Derek, 
serious call. We need you to the lanes or we're rolling. So, Derek, we need you back to the lanes. I believe we are rolling. Derek, back to the lanes or we are rolling. We need you back to the lanes, please. Specifically, we will be rolling without you. Derek, back to the lanes, please. Derek, we need you to the staging lanes. Mosier Engineering, Vintage Trailers, and Stainless Works all on the live feed. This is the Ace Triple Twenties, presented by Summit Racing Equipment at National Trail Raceway. Semi-final round is next of our bonus $10,000 to win shootout. We've already crowned a champ in our 20K. Mia Tedesco, your winner on Saturday night. She gets the rest, although she's double. She could sleep in, but... Door cars coming out first. She's on the buy run, so first round's a solid three hours and some change. Her buy run will hopefully be around noon. It, it won't matter. Tomorrow morning, uh, I was kind of waiting for today. I had to do the new entry time run this morning. Uh, I was waiting for at least one junior dragster to start at six. That way, it's, that's my norm. Doesn't matter where I park, where I go. I get a 6 a.m. wake up call with the junior dragster. Are you the guy that always pulls by the guy that has the loud generator too? Um, no, I've got spark plug kickers for those. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, anybody that's friends with Mike Shibro, you want to see him get wound up fast. Over generators? He goes nuts over those loud generators. He's like, just buy a Predator already! Mm. Now we have uh, actually been pretty blessed we have quiet ones see here's my whole junior experience so dave and the jags folks were just tremendous to our family and we were one of those electric junior families and he was super helpful he and his son michael and the best thing ever man no noise no mm -hmm. problems i plug that joker in that's it and just race it oh my gosh it was so much fun now I'm, I'm actually asking this because I don't know anything about it. And actually, I have a friend that actually builds electric motors professionally. He did Don Garlic Dreadster. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. done uh, the uh, national world record uh, electric bike for uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. choppers uh -huh. when they built that. And I never asked him, is there oil in anything that rotates that you have to change? Because I really don't know that no, question. No, we didn't have to do anything. It was maintain the batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, it was... Uh, chain driven so we would check any chains or belts or anything that whatever mm -hmm. application you chose to use and I wasn't sure if they had a wet system just on like the bearings that spin on the motors or no, anything it like was that great. that was a that's an honest question and, I don't and know Dave, much about it. Dave was so helpful he's like well your tires are probably gonna dry rot before you need to change them and I said really he goes yeah probably go four or five years so we kept everything covered up and we ran that car for three or four full seasons and uh, we just sold it. They're aging out, so uh, it was that was a great experience. It was. So uh, are they going? To, any of them going to go to a big car? I have my fingers crossed. Um, I hope so. Yeah. So I have uh, my oldest or eldest is uh, he's super interested, but he wants to go fast, fast. And I told him. Now nah, wait a minute. Hold on. What is? What's the guideline of fast, fast? Like four forties? Oh, easily. Low fours on a 10-inch tire kind of kid. And I said, well... Wood chopper. And well, you're going to need to go get a job then, and your job's going to need to pay more than my job does because you're yeah. in like a 680 to 710 household. Mm -hmm. uh, on a good day, maybe 650. <laughs> um, I don't think I went 650. I would have been about 34 yeah. years old. Yep, until I owned something that went that fast. I drove other people since that had that. Did not have a delay box car until I was 35. Never drove one. Uh, 17. 17? Yeah, yeah. delay box. So was, this, it, was it hiding under the seat? <laughs> no, no, no. This is the, So my dad obviously lived vicariously through me. but So I'm a second genner, and it was the early 90s, 91, 92. And... Uh, my dad had he my dad had raced on Wednesday nights at Thompson for years. I was a little kid. I remember growing up there three, four, five years old, sleeping on a blanket outside a chain link fence watching my dad in a streetcar. And he would it was a sixty three Impala three hundred twenty seven automatic and he'd build them all and yeah, he'd run thirteen seventies and 
jack it up, put the slicks on it, and we'd race it. I remember jacking it up, tires back on it. We'd ride it home, and my mom would carry us to school in it. And so I was 15, about, and we went back to the track, and I said, oh, I kind of want to do this. And man, that's all it took. So all of a sudden, we built, we have race cars. They're coming. I hear them. We built a K10 four-wheel drive pickup truck, 78 Chevy half-ton. 454 turbo 400 